Hi guys, I come on to do a quick little a video tutorial of the um, coaster, tile coasters. I apologize for the football noise in the background, but I uh, just come. It's gonna be real quick. I printed on eight and a half by eleven, but I've already cut out one side, and I cut out by hand so I can fit four on four images on there and I just cut them out by hand but this is the double sided um, photo you can get um, matte photo I like to use matte photo because I just like it better than the glossy photo it just holds the color better to me but um, my 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 printer that I love has clogged what the um, cyan or the blue has that head has clogged so and I'm if you see my nails they look a mess i've spent two days trying to get it back going so disregard the nails they're not dirty that's ink so it, you see it was not giving me blue so it was just super just <laughs> just doing the both so this paper is double-sided so i got i had to use my backup printer so i went and bought some ink for that so like i said i would put um four images on that one sheet of paper and cut by hand and then I would take the tile and I would take this Mod Podge here and I will take a brush get it in the Mod Podge paint the Mod Podge over the tile which I could do that real quick for this one just make sure that surface is clean just paint the surface of the tile with the Mod Podge. And then, just take your image. I like to put just a little bit on the back. Take your image and slide it down on the tile like so and try to center it so each side has an even amount of the white and you have to do it quick because this my pies will set pretty fast and it will stick it down pretty good and just go around the edges and make sure it sticks pretty good don't worry about to get it on the front because you're going to my podge that down as well. So then you would just take and my podge over the image. And if you're one who does not like streaks, make sure you dilute your, have a little cup of water or something that you can dip the tip of your brush in to thin this out then you just have to do multiple layers just make sure you get around these edges of this paper because it needs to be sealed if it's not then when you get ready to epoxy the edge of the paper will soak up any of that epoxy and you'll create wet spots so that's why we thoroughly seal with the my podge the top of the paper because the uh, epoxy or resin will um, soak through and that's it you let it dry and then if you like after it dries you can go over with a second coat that's totally up to you right there you might have to Push your finger over the top to get any bubbles out. There was a bubble there. So I don't want to go back over. There was a bubble. That's pretty much it you let it dry once it dries like I said you can go back over and do your second coat if you like if not then you can just go ahead and apply your um, epoxy or resin <laughs> 